Grace to you in peace from downtown Dallas. I uh, hope you're doing well this week as we head towards another exciting weekend. It's been a thrilling week for me, uh, starting with last Saturday, our session retreat with Len Sweet, which was a stimulating uh, conversation that, that has had my mind racing. And then the first part of this week, I was in Indianapolis uh, for two seminars, the next conference for Presbyterians, uh, which involved over 350 leaders from around the nation. I encourage you to check out uh, nextchurch.net on the web and you can see what that conference was about. I was also there for the Lilly Supervising Pastors meeting for all the pastors who, ser who supervise or mentor Lilly resident pastors around the country, which was a three-day affair that was uh, very engaging. At that uh, seminar, I learned about the concept of an ecotone. An ecotone is a place between two ecosystems. So it's the place of transition from, for example, the ecosystem of a forest to the ecosystem of a plane. The ecotone is the place in between where you're transitioning from those two different systems. And throughout this week, I felt like I've lived in an ecotone, in an in-between place, uh, between places where the church has been and places where the church is going in particular. Uh, and it's a fascinating place to live. We saw that uh, last Sunday in the amazing worship that our youth led us through. Uh, in 13 new members joining our congregation from all different aspects of life. What an exciting day that was in the life of the church, and thank you to our youth for their vital leadership. Um, I saw it this week as I gathered with Presbyterians to think about what's next for the Presbyterian Church in the wake of uh, declining numbers and uh, struggles with middle governing bodies and their viability. Uh, but there was great energy and positive uh, energy about the future of the denomination with 70 seminarians, a lot of young people. It was a very exciting event. And after I get done recording this, I'm heading to Highland Park Presbyterian Church for our presbytery meeting and included on the docket of this two-day meeting, which starts this afternoon and then continues tomorrow, we'll be voting on constitutional amendments uh, that have created a lot of discussion in uh, the PCUSA. And it feels like sort of an in-between place. I'm waiting to see what will happen with these votes. Uh, we covet your prayers as we're in that in-between place. And I think it's an interesting thing that this Sunday we celebrate the transfiguration as Jesus takes Peter, James, and John up the mountain and give, gives them a glimpse of, of his glory and of who he is and who he will be uh, in glory. He does that right after he's told them that they're headed to Jerusalem and he's going to die. And the transfiguration becomes an ecotone, an in-between place between predictions of cross and the glory of resurrection. And I think God will have an interesting word for us from that ancient, mystifying, powerful story this Sunday. And I hope you'll join us for worship. We'll be celebrating communion in the early service and uh, celebrating great worship in the late service. So we hope to see you there. Take care. God bless. And please keep the Presbyterian in your prayers this afternoon and tomorrow. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.